The Gulf Outlet was opened in 1963. In 40 years, the Gulf Outlet destroyed things that took Mother Nature thousands of years to put together for St. Bernard Parish. And it's, it's, it's not a natural disaster, it's a man-made disaster. The, the, the MRGO never was what it was supposed to be. It never did bring that industrial boom to St. Bernard that it was promised. We were going to be the industrial frontier of the South. I'll be honest with you, every time I think about it, I think somebody, whoever proposed that thing, and uh, you know, they should be charged with murder because they not only murdered the environment, we had 1,500 people die in this area. And, and I had told them, I told them every time I got a chance, I said, look, let me tell you something. One of these days, we're going to get devastated. It's a shame, but it happened. It was just a matter of time, you know, that's, we didn't have the, the, the good levee system we should have had. We had uh, inferior levees. And, but the, the, the big issue, this all started with the construction of the Mississippi River Gulf Outlet. The best thing that happened to us so far that has come out of this disaster is the fact that the Gulf Outlet has been closed at the Bayla Lutra Ridge. The fishing community could see what was happening the deterioration of, of the wetlands and the uh, the hunters, I mean, they all, they all could see it's beginning to deteriorate. And uh, when you see everything starting to disappear that, that you were involved in and that you enjoy it, I mean, that's, it's terrible. Restoration of the wetlands, you know, I keep hearing that, I keep hearing coastal restoration, let me tell you something. My lifetime, we'll never see it. It, 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 it take hundreds of years to put this thing back the way it was. We won't be around, you won't be around, your kids won't see it. I don't think it'll ever be what it was. It, would, it was cypress trees that were probably five, six, seven hundred years old, probably more. And, and those were our storm barrier at the time. You know, you, you could, I remember the 47 hurricane, you could hear the water coming through the trees, you know. And the number one project that should be started is the planting of cypress trees. You'll never see a cypress tree uprooted. You you will you will not unless you it's in a tornado and then you could you could you may see one split at the top, but you'll never see one broke all the way down. You'll ne never see one uprooted. But we used to plant three thousand trees a year. But we had, a, we had a routine going. Trees have to be at least three to four feet high before you can plant them. And when you plant trees, you plant them in the fall. And if you plant a seedling, by the time the summer hits and the grass starts growing, it overcomes them. With the four foot tree, three or four foot tree, you don't have that problem, it'll survive. And that's all you want it to survive is the first, if it makes the first year, then, it, then it'll make it. 